Okay, this is the Deerfield Conservation Committee uh, meeting for May 23rd, 2019. And present are Lewis Mission. Tim Hilchey. And Bill Mara PC. And uh, let's see, we, we have some uh, old business here. I think with uh, the order of conditions for Whipple Pond at Eagle Brook. There was a change in uh, herbicide that was going to be used, and uh, we did do a site visit today. And uh, Naomi, you want to come up and just explain what what the procedure is now for that sure. different herbicide and what you have to do. So uh, Naomi Valentine from SWCA representing Eagle Brook School um, where the Whipple Pond management is being proposed. So when we were here at the last hearing, we talked about the use of fluoridone instead of diquat dibromide because it's systemic in nature and that's the type of treatment that we're going to need to fully manage the aquatic moss that we saw today at the pond. And the main change in that treatment approach is that we want to keep that herbicide within the pond for 45 days to make sure that it does reach all the way to the, through the depths of the aquatic moss roots. And we talked about how that's not going to be affecting any of the beneficial vegetation in the emergent shelf of the pond today. Uh, we looked at the outlet structure and uh, how we can lower the pond level just a little bit, maybe a, a foot or so, to give us an allowance for large storm events, and then also put a few sandbags at the outlet structure to prevent the water from escaping from the pond during that 45-day period. Um, we looked at the full length of that outlet stream from the pond, um, created stream that leads into a perennial stream and how it's normally dry for the majority of the year and it's not a huge contributor uh, by any means to the perennial stream. Um, we also noted today that although for about four weeks ago, we did manually remove the above ground material of that aquatic mass, moss and it's already back to a, a decent percent cover along the edge of the pond itself. And we discussed the previous permit that allowed the school to manage the water levels for snowmaking in the pond. And I have that file number. I can read it off for the record. Um, this should be it. I just want to double check that I have the right one. Yes, so it should be Mass DEP file number 142-0199, just to have that on your record for the meeting. And that's for the uh, drawing down of the pond for, for snowmaking. Snow making. And uh, the other maintenance of the pond that happened the last yeah. time work was done. And those, that addresses all the questions that we had at the previous meeting. And then please feel free to ask any additional ones or bring up anything that I didn't just mention. No, I think we wanted to do a site visit and just uh, confirm, you know, the amount of water coming out of the pond, if there was any, mm -hmm. and that there is a uh, perennial stream that does take care of the flow to keep it continuous. Mm -hmm. And that's just a short little spot that... Uh, that the water is coming down and it's all been uh, redone when they built the uh, spillway and stuff, mm -hmm. so. Right. Bill mentioned that um, you were discussing what kind of um, systemic effects on potential invertebrates in the pond. What kind of invertebrates would be in the pond? This is just for a point of information. I. We haven't found any and any surveys that we've had and I mean, while there's fish in the pond, and there are certainly um, amphibians that start in the pond in the early parts of their life cycle, um, Daphnia species are the ones that are slightly affected by the herbicide, mm -hmm. and the way that they determine things like that are direct contact experiments. Mm -hmm. And so the only way that the Daphnia would be affected was if their larvae were in the water body, which 
that stage of their life has now passed for the year, mm -hmm. or if they were somehow perched on nearby vegetation that had overspray from the treatment. But as we talked about today at the pond, the way that we do this management is the applicator wears a backpack sprayer that has a little hose with a wand, and they put that either right under the, just under the surface or right on top of the surface. And so there's no threat of overspray that way. And that, that's why we do apply it that way. Thank mm -hmm. you for your question though. Mm -hmm. And um, to actually what you were saying about the applicator, um, I know that you mentioned that there's a low risk to the person applying mm -hmm. um, uh, because they could inhale, but can you speak to, again, to sure. kids that would walk by there? Mm -hmm. and yeah, so same sort of thing with those studies. When you read more into the toxicity information on that, I think I elaborated a little bit in the summary, uh, which was a little appendix to the memo I submitted with the original request. Um, those are not acute reactions. Those are prolonged ingestion or direct contact with skin. So even before the herbicide is uh, available to be used, um, before it has its EPA label, uh, they conduct these studies and they review the studies every year. But anyway, those studies are what determine how you have to apply the herbicide and it's what's used to create the label information. And so as certified applicators who are required to follow label restrictions, we have to follow all PPE that's listed, personal protective equipment that's listed mm -hmm. on the label. Mm -hmm. And so there's no need for respirate, wearing a respirator or a, a mask on your face for this one because there's not a risk for the aerosolized or fine particulates of the herbicide to affect your upper respiratory or get into your system that way. Mm -hmm. It would be if you ingested it, if it was applied to your skin on a more prolonged basis than just an acute exposure. Mm -hmm. And that's why it just says that there's a low risk, I believe. Yeah. Yes. And will you be monitoring just to check the levels in the pond during the 45 day period to make sure that they're adequate? Or, or is this a one-time application? And so, if you have a large storm event, you might check? Yeah, so the uh, the company that produces this particular chemical suggested that we do two half treatments to maintain a 0 0.025 part per million concentration within the pond. And while we're not going to directly sample the water and send out to a lab for that concentration, they have a standard procedure that assumes with an average amount of rainwater you'll be maintaining this as long as the water is not leaving the pond. So that's how we calculate it. So you're saying two treatments is that, just that uh, two treatments in the 45 day period? Yeah, so okay. that was so a really just, great question. So it's just once once a year, you think this is a? We're really hoping that it'll only be a one time once, yeah. treatment, but yeah. we can certainly reach out to the commission if the aquatic moss comes back at a smaller quantity, or we can try to use well, just the so original. Just make note, because you're supposed to give us a uh, yearly report. Yes, it'll definitely, <clears throat> so, whatever we do will be yeah. in the annual report. But so it's a double treatment in that 45 day. Then. Yeah, that's what they suggest exactly for that reason, mm -hmm. storm water in, inputs. Okay. And this is for a permit for the, another five year period? Is that what we're doing or are we well, just- Well, we already we, did we that. Just, yeah, yeah okay. just an amendment to amendment the order. Amendment to the treatment plan. So yeah. that the commission was fully aware of right. this different herbicide that we were yeah. hoping to use. Perfect. Yeah, and what it is, it talked with uh, Mark, he gave different options, and because it's so minor mm -hmm. that he said we can just have it in the minutes that we approve the chemical change and the herbicide change. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as it's stated in the minutes, then, uh, okay. you know, we don't have to write up an official order of conditions or you know, go that way. Yeah, and I'll make sure to print that out afterwards and make sure that Wes... Um, from Eagle Brook has that along with the order yeah. of conditions in his files. So if everybody agrees to uh, just having it in the minutes, it's a minor change. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. we are allowed to do that. I, I think with the, you know, annual update and, you know. Uh, I'm, yeah, we'd like to know if it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. 
So, so do I need to make a motion? You need to make yeah. a motion. Okay, so I, I move that we um, accept the change in uh, herbicide and uh, make a note of it in the minutes, and uh, we'll re look forward to the annual report next year. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much for your time. You're all set. And good luck with it. Yeah. Thank you. We'll let you know how it goes. Thanks very much. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We have some new business. And we have some... Uh, the Elk Deerfield Water Department going down Mill Village Road was going to cross a culvert, but now they uh, want to stop just prior to it. So I guess we'll have it. Andrew, if you want to state your sure. name so you can. Yep. My name's Andrew Don. I'm representing South Deerfield Water Supply District. Uh, so we're putting in a new water main to connect uh, for emergency supply from uh, Deerfield Fire District to South Deerfield so Water Supply up. District. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we're no longer going to cross the culvert. I have an updated map if you'd like a copy. Yep. Is this the work that's and if you could just being, yeah. being done on the. You could just. I got it. Yep. Yeah. So okay. this is this. Oh, okay. That's the stream. This is uh, Yep. So the stream that's that goes right. Okay, I know. I know where yeah, it is. This is. I know where down it is. The hill. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. So we were going to cross. He was going to cross yes. it with this old. The other district starts here. Yeah. Okay. But we're just going to stop. Here. Oh. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you. Let's see. We just need. And this is the work that's happening right now Correct. that has a slow sign. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And we actually okay. stopped right. We stopped right here. So I just need to continue. I didn't want to get too close without. Could you just approval. just put a date? Sure. And just initial it so we know that. This is your change, so we can put it in file. This will be the file one. And this was the proposed one. Correct. So let's see. Yeah, we're out there. The only thing uh, like we talked about when we yeah. did the site visit was to uh, correct the installation of the uh, erosion control fence. Sure. You know, just set it into the ground. No problem. So nothing goes underneath it and uh, you know Tim you have any other well no and we talked about the swale that they want to install but uh, that's at the same part practically the same place where you stopped your work I think yeah or just I think a little pretty beyond close, yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, that seemed to make sense sure but and what about uh, seeding you're gonna do that yeah really we'll do quickly? that we'll do that right away okay yeah. So it'll probably be next week we'll start uh, putting the swale Cleaning in. up and yeah. seeding it. And exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll have to leave the sill fence up until sure. it, it takes hold. So, uh, anybody got any questions? Or any? I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. No, it's pretty yeah. straightforward. It's actually a little better because it's not crossing the culvert. Yeah. Yeah. And you were you also did the work up right near the intersection with Lee, right? Lee Correct. Road. Yeah. So that uh, will you be taking up that uh, temporary asphalt yes. again? Yeah, that should be up on Wednesday and repaired. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's starting to settle. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was a pretty good dip. Yeah, there. I hit that. I hit that. <laughs> yeah. Just, whoa. Yeah, that'll be taken care of on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, yeah. So if you can get to that silt fence tomorrow, sure. That would be yep. We can do that. And uh, well, so this is listed as an RDA, and and what does that mean for us actually? And what are we saying? We're saying, and that's what I'll I'll read here is okay. There, the RDA, or they're requesting whether the work depicted on the plans plans or referenced below is are subject to the Wetland Protection Act. And because he's 45 feet from the stream, he is uh, in an area that's protected. So we got to 
so, required to rule on it? So we rule, there's a positive and then there's a negative. Mm -hmm. Negative sounds bad, but it's... Uh, Actually the opposite. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it took me a while to figure that out. But, mm -hmm. And uh, so what it, what it is is we're going to check off or I'm going to check off the work described in the request is within the buffer zone, which is all that area, mm -hmm. as defined by the regulations, but will not alter an area subject to protection under the Act. Therefore, said work does not require notice of intent subject to the following conditions. Mm -hmm. And that I'll just put in that, make sure the silt fence is installed sure. properly. You know, you know, properly. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, So you're not, let's see, the work described in the, within an area subject, but will not remove, fill, dredge, alter the area, therefore said work is not required. Uh, see, there's two that is awful Similar. close, yeah. So the buffer zone, but, well, you're outside it now, because you would have been going over it. Mm -hmm. The stream, so yep. you got the 200 foot buffer. Right. So. Sounds like the third one. Yeah, yeah that's where we usually go, yeah. Number two, I don't think would apply because they, there is work that's happening that could be perceived as dredge, so I think that it's. Work these guys within the area subject to protection, but will not remove, fill, dredge, or alter. What do you think, Steve? You hear? Or, you. Yeah, negative between the two and three. What would, what's the? It's not really written to fit perfectly, but usually they go to a uh, three. Yeah, and that's what we usually do. Yeah. I just didn't, you know, seeing you were here and you're, yeah. you're a specialist here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I, I was going to go with the three, yeah. but yeah, that's it. Okay, and you know, we'll just put down with the erosion control. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Oh, we didn't have any. Could you just, Andrew, just draw in the, the way you have your, your, uh, yeah, erosion of silt fence there. Or? Oh, I got it right here. It's not much, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't have my glasses so, on. Okay. So this is the silt fence that you're. Yeah. you're it's installed, but he has to. Yeah, um, the edge of it. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it was. A high in a couple spots. Okay. Okay. Should that be 523? Oh, yeah. Very good. You could say 22. Five. Oh, it says four. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. You should be all set, Andrew. Okay. This Thank will be much. in the office there. Probably okay. pick it up next week. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. See you later. Yep. Uh, let's see. And what do we got here? We have Mill Village Road Culvert Replacement, Town of Deerfield. The Fuller Swamp Brook area, they call it. Yes. My yeah. name is Steve. I'm here with Ryan Long. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Town of Deerfield, who is proposing to replace 
a failed stone masonry culvert, an old stone culvert, with a nine foot uh, wide precast concrete open bottom box culvert, um, which includes a uh, shoulder for wildlife passage. Um, currently, the, the existing culvert has failed, as you guys saw um, during the site visit today. There is some flow going through it, but it is, it's for all intents and purposes, it has failed. Um, and the road is actually eroding away on the one side. Um, so yeah. they're wanting to, to replace the culvert. Okay. <clears throat> I've, I've seen it on, on bike ride too. And yeah. you want you to, know. could you get the large plans out probably? And you can yes, just show. certainly. Just go over the plans so Bill can see too. And Yeah. I looked at them there the other day. Yeah. This is the existing conditions page. Um, so this is where the farm is. That's that. This is the um, the sugar house area here, just looking straight across, or? Well, it's way over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Over here, yeah. All right. Just over here. Like yeah. Uh, and this is where the road, that, uh, the pavement's actually collapsed a little bit right here. Okay. It's real steep. Yeah. And, um, well, you can see from the concrete that it's pretty much a 90 degree yeah. wall. Um, and this is the road in here on the outflow side. This is the temporary culvert that was put in, um, which is above water level right now. And then this is the existing stone masonry culvert um, that has failed. And then. This is the proposed plans, um, the uh, open bottom concrete box culvert. Um, so this is the eroded area. This would all be repaired, and um, and then it would require these concrete wing walls and stabilization with riprap on each side here. Mm -hmm. um, this would so this is where the, uh, the uh, temporary culvert is, the plastic yeah. one. Um, that's going to be used for as a bypass during construction. After okay. construction is completed, um, it will be removed. And this area right here will be filled in um, to grade down to the slope down to the uh, stream, the existing stream right here, which was the original stream. This is all just a road away. I don't know if it was a like mean or what that caused that. And then, of course, the culvert was, the temporary culvert was, was placed there. But um, mm -hmm. so that's the proposed plans. And will the, the work that's being done, will it stabilize the road as well? Because as you said, that you know the road actually is starting to, um, to, to dip down um, right. itself. So, so they're re repaving this section right here of the right. roadway, Not, nothing oh. beyond that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the part that is, looks it's concerning. So. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 right. Mm -hmm. It'll be able to improve the faster. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then it'll help from flooding so that whatever it is. And Bill, just so you know, page five is not in those plans because it was a bit of time. Yeah, and so that's what the box cover will look, look like. Yeah, so it's, it's an open, it'll have an open uh, mm -hmm. bottom. To allow for animals to. Right, for fish and uh, <clears throat> macroinvertebrates and stuff. But then there's this terrestrial bench here that is part of the um, stream crossing standards, the state stream crossing standards. Um, they usually they typically want a wildlife passage incorporated into the plans. Um, it's wild, you know, it's wide enough for, you know, deer would run there through there regardless, but it's wide enough for turtles, and, um, you know, medium-sized mammals, raccoons, skunks. Mm -hmm. Now, for this shelf, how much, uh, what's the height difference between the uh, bottom of the stream and the shelf? I, I believe it's only a couple feet. Um, let's see. They're saying the top of the stream, like bank full, is at two feet here, and the shelf is like six inches above it. So, <clears throat> so six, and then the shelf, this is the shelf, right? 
Right, so it's a full foot above the bottom of the thigh wag there. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and is they that did it? a hydrologic analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's I don't really know how that works. It's not part of my expertise, but mm -hmm. um, there's a included in there. There's a hydrologic analysis. Um, so I'm not sure how they decided exactly what the height of the terrestrial bench needed to be, but uh, that's what. Oh, well, yeah. When it's a it's <clears throat> and it's only. Uh, Four foot or less than four feet. You know, four foot. So there's not much room, so you can't go too much, and you wouldn't right. have a larger animal right. going through. And from mm -hmm. what I understand, they, they couldn't make this any higher, or else it would create a kind of a ramp. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're restricted, yeah, with so the road elevation and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. So. And can you talk a little bit about the uh, dewatering that's proposed? Um, okay, so. I guess we could just go off of these plans. If you go to the proposed conditions. Um, what page is that? that? That should be right there, yeah. So upstream of the culvert, there's this coffer dam that gets placed in, which is like large sandbags, which will bump, and then there's a, like a, a skirt or something goes over it, so the water pushes up against it and makes, seals it tight, and the water then will flow through the temporary culvert which completely stops the water from entering the work area, which then creates huh. a dry stream bed. Um, and then downstream, this will be primarily, well, it'll just be hay bales, and that's just to keep any kind of sediment from the project from entering the existing flow of the stream mm -hmm. uh, from the bypass here. And then once everything's done, they take this coffer dam out and water will flow through here, and then they remove the uh, temporary and then pave. So that's called that's the dewatered area. It's okay. no longer there's stream flow is completely blocked from, from going into that area. And is that um, approximately 100, 150 feet or um, it's affected? Uh, there's from, a square footage measurement. So oh no, it's not I meant linear. Point. Yeah. Linear, no, it's not 150 feet. No, it's like but, um, I think the culvert's forty five. Forty five. Yeah, so so maybe between seventy five. 75 or so? It, well, the coffer dam is only like 30 or 40 feet from the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's okay. not very so far. 70, 75, up yeah. to 75 feet. Mm -hmm. um, I know that, that DEP asked, you know, uh, so in, in that case, uh, that aquatic organisms are preserved if, if, if need be. Right. So during the dewatering process, if anything gets stranded, they're supposed to take, move it into the water. Okay. Is, is, is that in here or? I don't believe that's written in there, but that's because that was the, what you uh, plans that the contractors received. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was we'll, number we'll, two. We'll, we'll make note, and this will be part of the uh, order of conditions, so that you know address these that have you know Mark has, right? And uh, then you would have to take care of that with the uh, contractor or the contract. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you the monitoring mechanism when there's an order of a condition like I that, or? I won't be, but somebody gets high on. I'm yeah, guessing yeah, I meant on. you, high on. Yeah. yeah. There's will be a monitor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you don't have a set of stamp plans for us, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. They're done and stamped. I just don't. And okay. you're proposing to bring them tomorrow? Yes, I'll have somebody deliver them tomorrow to uh, Priscilla. Priscilla, yeah. If she's not here, then um, Diana. Yeah. Yeah, I think I forgot, you know, I think, I'm not sure what Fridays are, but I think right around 10, Priscilla's in. And okay. So, okay. yeah, if you could have that, so then we can, uh, you know, and, and then are sign we off and with conditions that we have. You know, the, the plans or these, you know, the conditions, the conditions won't be ready then. But uh, as I see it, I don't know any other, it, like I say, it'll be a big improvement. And, yeah. uh, it's got to be done and it'll improve the flooding that area. Yeah, I guess just, I mean, that if, if these order, if these conditions are met, you know. Um, added to the. Yeah, added to this. And have you seen the conditions that? Yes. I've oh, seen. you have that. Yes. Okay. All right. I just. Yeah, we went over them a little bit. They're kind of 
on the plans, but mm -hmm. oh, okay, except for the uh, from the number, th you know, the dewatering with the uh, just preserving whatever is yes still in there, mm -hmm. stranded. Uh, let's see. So with the notice of intent, since we don't know if and when the culvert work will actually be done, is there a time limit on your needing to return to us? I mean, I don't know what the law is, so I'm, I'm asking I'm a question. I'm not question. Exactly sure how long that is. It's more than a year, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure. There is a time limit. I'm not What's sure. that on the... Uh... To stamp that MRI, it's the order of conditions. It's like five years, I believe. Yeah, that's, I thought it was a, a fairly substantial yeah, period. Three to five, I, three I, to five yeah. yeah. And then... There's a final order condition sign. Mm -hmm. right. Is it being proposed to happen soon? Well, I don't believe the town has received funding for this project yet, but I'm not sure. I don't. Okay. I'm not positive. My, My understanding is that it's uh, the request for about two hundred seventy thousand dollars is in the uh, the latest um, municipal vulnerability preparedness. That's a mouthful. Um, application that the town's submitting to right. the state um, may have already done it or they're about to. So, okay. so maybe next summer. Yeah, so they're, they're looking to get the grant approved and uh, then they have the money to be able to do the work. Replacement. Now, this, I don't know that Priscilla had these highlighted. Is this something that has to be filled in or, or is that? Cover with this. That's the. See, well, this is what we got to put. So we do we put. See, we're permitting. You're you're. Which is proposing so sixty feet. So that's what you would have to say. Uh, this is she's saying. This is what you fill in, right? The permit. Right, right. So she's, these are the numbers I give, and then you, you are permitting the numbers that I've given. Okay, so in 1925, then you would say yes, 1925. Um, Cubic feet of flood storage, 200. Um, okay, so this isn't checked off, right? The buffer zone, because it is. This is the WPA form you guys have to fill out, right? Right. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Now, do I fill that out? It seems to me I've done that before, but maybe that's. Um, well, there's really no b buffer zone. Yeah, because you're already in the river. river. Yeah. You're in the, the you're whole in project it. is in the resource yeah. area. Right. So the one that is checked, um, Louis, I, I think the other ones are, are denied. Are that if we were if something was being denied, then it would be checked. Um, and and we right. are putting yeah, specific no, conditions. I know I filled this in on the buffer, but like you say, we're right in the riverfront, so. So it's just these here would be the one she wasn't sure. Oh, okay. So, okay. It appears to me that that he's right that we're just you're, we're agreeing you're right what I proposed. agreeing with what you proposed and by and marking it as so right on the uh, you know agreeing with those numbers and marking it as so. Okay. It's a little confusing. Yeah, they keep changing it too. <laughs> All right, and uh, most are. Uh, we. Uh, before we move forward, do we need a motion to? Yeah, we got to. So make I make a, a motion to approve um, the um, uh, form five with order of conditions, um, utilizing the three order of conditions that DEP presented uh, uh, to the commission. I'll second that. <laughs> um, no discussion. Yeah. Okay. All, all in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, and do we need to um, write this or would, would that just Well, I'll, I'll look at this and either just make note, you know, that uh, 
it'll be part of the Mark's comments will be part of the uh, order of conditions you okay. know, tomorrow when I see Priscilla and I go, th go through these th things here mm -hmm. and you're going to bring the uh, the tomorrow, stamp, tomorrow stamp. morning, if yeah, the stamped. Yeah, I don't know. Who, I'm not. I'm in New Hampshire all day tomorrow, yeah. so I have to find somebody you know, at work that can drive up here and deliver it. So hopefully before noon. Okay. Yeah. 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 Any. You know. Which, uh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. If we can get it before noon, that'd be. Okay. That'd be good. Um, I'm drawing a blank on what that's called. The order of condition lasts five years, but then there's a. Closing. Yeah, the sign off. Oh, process. is there? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember what it's called. No, you're not supposed to tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did, you did pretty well kicking like hell underneath. Yeah. yeah, so you, you, know, you know something about mm -hmm. it. It'd be interesting to see what kind of um, aquatic life might live in that collapsed culvert that wouldn't yeah. be there afterward. I mean, I probably stuff that doesn't really want to be there to be, you know, wouldn't have been there but for right. the collapse. But yeah, I don't know what could because there's no surface. Yeah. Yeah. Water goes up above it, so bats probably don't move it. Too yeah. Much. Yeah. Okay. So, like you say, we'll. Looks good. We'll. Uh, Okay, I will have that delivered to Priscilla, and then um, you guys will ma mail that to. Yeah, I think that's how she does. Yeah, if there's no she rush. Yeah, if there's no rush. Yeah, Priscilla <clears throat> takes care of that part of it. There shouldn't be a rush because, like I say, I don't think they're ready to, to yeah. go. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Wouldn't it be better to say we're not sure we're ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, but that overall it seems like it will benefit our quality of life. Yeah. It will benefit and the animals too. Take care. Nice. Yes. Let's see. What's that? Agenda items. Mail. Okay. Next here. Now we can. Uh, let's see. What has she got here? Is it, that South Main Street situation. Oh yeah, South Main Street. I uh, did finally. I was on vacation, so I got back and, mm -hmm. and uh, been trying to get in touch, and uh, we sent the letter out for him to. Uh, you know, let us know what's going on and just to stop what he was doing. And I did get a hold of him today, and I'm going to just go out there. He's, he, he was putting some wood chips down. It didn't sound like he was doing any right. excavating. And, okay. Uh, so I, I told him I'd meet him. And just to go over, he said he's not doing anything else. He's, right now he just stopped, and mm -hmm. he's got some wood chips there. And So I'm just going to go and just take a look because I know Mark had, you know, a complaint and Mm -hmm. and concern about it so, so that, that's where it, and if there's yeah. something that he really wants to do down the road then I think uh, you know he'll have a fill out an RDA mm -hmm. but uh, so he so, he basically shouldn't shouldn't be doing this and um, well I don't know I haven't been over there yeah. it's it's an area that had wood chips before right it looked like and he's just put you know fresher ones there mm -hmm. in the spot so Okay. So I was just going to, you know, I'll, I'll follow up on that next, next meeting there mm -hmm. on that one. All right. So he has stopped work there. Okay. But he was just trying to, you know, clean it up a little bit with the wood chips or, mm. let's see, uh, there's the, uh, let's do the zoning. What's this DEP Cumberland thing? Is that something that we, Cumberland Farms? Yeah, they give us a report. I was going to get to that. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, you take it. You're 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 running the ship. Okay. 
Well, trying to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, there's what they they've been doing is because of, there was a enforcement order. DEP get DEP and we get uh, weekly reports now that it's getting nicer during the winter. They we stop, but uh, they just. Uh, report on how uh, that culvert area is doing mm -hmm. other things are growing if there's you know siltation and the all remediation that. work it's yeah to track that so and then they send pictures so I'll let you if you want to look at that and so they've been doing that uh, and is this done by independent monitor or done by DEP is, is doing this? No, it's it's uh, required under the enforcement order. Oh, okay. So it's a different firm. Oh, okay. So it's an, it, so it's an independent, they call it an independent, yeah, kind of uh, independent environmental right. monitor. It's actually the firm that, that Naomi works, oh, okay. works for. Oh, okay. SWCA. Yeah. Okay, so. That the other is the variance on sideline setback on property at 117 Old Main Street. They're looking for comment. So, can I ask a question? There'll be just be, before we move to is the one thing that this person is noting is that there's some erosion um, on the planted slope move over the top of the secondary wattle is that showing erosion that's happening and let's see Yeah, it's just starting to, mm -hmm. you know, hasn't been, uh, of course, over the winter, it hasn't taken hold the seed and stuff, so just make a note. That okay, all right. You know, it's it's still in the process of... Uh, establishing? Yeah, coming back. You can, well, you can see it up here, see how yeah. it's, there's okay. nothing, nothing growing really yet. They, they, you know, they got some special plants in there. And, So it's going to take a while. I mean, they're going to be doing these reports, and okay. you know, yeah, I think they, they got can, about a year to before okay. we can. The EP accepts it, and we're we're Sign part of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, like I say, we'll be getting these probably weekly, or okay. Mm -hmm. I just I'm not, I'm not to. sure. I can't remember now how many, but we were getting them quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So that's just for information. Oh. Okay. Then we got this uh, zoning. Normally, it's we uh, have no comment. So yeah, I mean, what they're asking us for is um, there's a sideline setback. Um, that that means that um, is there some wetland there that that. They were, they're asking for. No, what well, usually is you can't do any building or anything within 10 feet of the property line. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought it was meaning. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I assume, yeah. you know, because if it was wetland, then yeah. it would be becoming, for, you know, before us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what they're asking is, uh, you know, they want to change it from that to three feet because it's a small grandfathered in lot. Mm -hmm. So normally we. Don't have a comment. Don't have a comment. There's nothing really that. Yeah, there's nothing no. subject that, that, to our no jurisdiction. Yeah. No comment.
Okay, there's that. Let's see what other agenda items we have here. This is postage meter 50. I guess we just got a bill to, we're supposed to approve the, some postage. This here, we're down the road, we're going to have to uh, look into it more with Cumberland Farms. Mark has a little concerned with the, of course, there's been a lot of rain, but still, I agree that the detention basin over there at Cumberland Farms, if you go by there and pull in, it's full of water. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't subside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it could be silted up or. That's what he's thinking. And uh, so. You know, we'll have to look into that more once it gets nicer and maybe dries, starts drying out, and then be part of the, you know, I know we signed off a partial certification, but mm -hmm. so that's something, you know, we got to look into, and he wants to kind of address it a little bit and bring it more of a concern to the mm -hmm. Cumberland Farms. So. so was that part of, like, their stormwater retention plan? Yeah, that's... That's usually it, and, and then it's supposed to, if it does overflow, then it goes down into that drainage swale there mm -hmm. and stuff. So that's that. Let's see, New Village Water, we did that. Oh, what else we got? We got some, that was, this is mail. So they're just letting us know that there's a, for that floodplain map and the new floodplain map and they might be surveyors around the area. Mm -hmm. Mapping uh, through there and this is, I guess everybody got this, this is. So I'm, I'm assuming that they probably gave this to Trevor since Kip was not on the select board at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is just... The yeah, yeah, the, the FEMA wouldn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's, they're just talking about this was in the paper about mm -hmm. the grants for... Yeah, field survey mm -hmm. for... The grants for the uh, solar, solar systems at the farms and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's about all it was, just for Deerfield. Just the two firms. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I guess mail goes to all the departments. Let's see. And, uh, and we got to look at the minutes. Conservation. Okay. Were you able to answer the, the questions she had? There was one. Yeah, no, I was going to uh, talk to her. Or I did talk to her. I told <clears> her, <throat> you know, I didn't write anything down. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is, that, well, I'll look at the rest of it. I looked at it quick.
Yeah, the only thing is that there's... Yeah, this was the thing that she had a question change, about. Did, yeah. did, we, did we have a vote on it? And I No, there wasn't anything yeah. to take a vote because yeah. it you, was only informational. Yeah. And I'll, I'm going to explain it to okay, her right good. tomorrow. Yeah. That's why I, I, I didn't remember, so I told her I... Yeah, no, I saw that, and what it was was... Yeah, I remember. They were proposing, or he thinks that they would like to change it back to the original because right. now they have the property, I guess, is in, you know, they have control right. of the property. So if they do decide to change what we approve, He's going to submit a plan, mm -hmm. and send it to DEP, and I talked to Mark about it, and mm -hmm. Mark wasn't concerned. Yeah, he said, "No, that's it. Sounds like a better idea." Yeah, because I mean, it was more looked like it was more part of the natural right. features right. that existed there. Right, instead of there. just a jog off. Right, it. but you know, it, it, it. Yeah, this is written like it's. Uh, we approved it, but there mm -hmm. was nothing approved because it's. Yeah, you know, uh, so I gotta clarify that. Yeah, I'll clarify that tomorrow. That it's only uh, it was informational about that and I what think they were going to yeah, propose. And that maybe down the road that's what they're going to change it to. Mm -hmm. And let's see the other. And the one that we're talking about is the 198 Mill Village. Is that what you're talking about? Just so I can make note on the minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. The sun's mass. Yep. Yeah, there were. I followed the rest of yeah, the conversation. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, that it was just uh, that way that yeah, it, it he had erosion no control look good and everything. Mm -hmm. And he was that Chris Chamberlain suggested. You know, he said he'd they'd like to do that, but uh, that area was restricted there when they were for you know the plans and stuff okay because of the property yeah I don't know if it was changed <clears throat> you know the ownership or not so I think everything looks I'm gonna make a motion to accept the minutes accept and the with, minutes the clarification. with the clarification of the uh, the uh, change in the at the mill village marijuana facility that there was no change to accept, but the erosion control was in place. Mm -hmm. So is, the, is that the motion, or are you looking yeah, for Yeah, that's the motion. Okay. <laughs> I second it. <laughs> All in favor, aye. Aye. I, I can't vote, so I'm going to abstain. Yep. Okay, so let's see what else here. I think. Meeting. Yeah, we did that. Oh, we got to set up a yeah. 627. Now, you, um, you, re you will recall that I mentioned right. that I'm leaving I think on the 21st yeah. to be gone until um, the beginning of July. Um, so, and I'm happy to do a meeting a week earlier, but that may not be what you think is the best. So you decide what you think is best. Yeah, I think we'll go with the 27th, 27th and okay. see if Ben shows up or see what goes on. If it, if it looks like uh, there's gonna be something going on and uh, then maybe, uh, you know, we could try going earlier. When's yeah. the, when you're it's leaving? The, I'm, I'm leaving oh, 20, probably okay. the 21st or the 22nd. Really, I fly on the 22nd, but yeah. I think I go down to Boston the night before. Okay. All right, so the 20th. Okay. Yeah, yeah why don't we just keep it? We can change it. Yeah. You know, we'll have, yeah. have time. And mm -hmm. So we're going to keep the meeting then as Thursday, June 27th. 27th, yeah, right now. Okay. All right. Like I say, if the things are quiet or something like that, we can maybe just yeah, you know, switch it over to the twentieth. Just to... yep. Okay. Uh, I think we got everything. Yeah. I'll make a motion to make a motion to adjourn at uh, seven fifty-five. So. Second. Aye. 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 Aye.